Undertale! Who's ready to finish this with the good ending? We're gonna go talk to Alphys. We're gonna do this as we should. And if you don't remember what happened last time, we beat it, but we got the bad ending. So now we're gonna go talk to Alphys, and we're gonna see what, what is it, how to get the good ending, and we're gonna get the good ending! <sighs> huh. Ring. Hey, uh, this is Undyne. Shut up, Papyrus. This was your idea. Human! You have to deliver something for me. Uh, please? I'm at Snowden in front of Papyrus. See ya, punk! Okay. I like the cat boat. Come again sometime, tra la la. Now we go talk to. Undyne. That's her name, dude. Um, so I have a favor to ask. Uh, I I need you to deliver this letter to Dr. Alphys. Huh? Why don't I do it myself? <laughs> um, well, it's kind of personal, but we're friends, so I'll tell you. Hotland sucks! I don't want to have to go over there. So here you go. You got Undyne's letter. Oh, and if you read it, I'll kill you. Thanks so much. You're the next best. You're the best. Not the next best. Undyne writes a lot of letters, but she can never seem to find the right words. So when she goes to deliver them herself, she always quits so she can go back and rewrite. That's why she asks you, because you have no standards. Dang it, Papyrus. You crazy bee. The door has no mail slot. Slide the letter. Slide. You slide the letter under and give it a knock. Oh, oh no! Is that another letter? I don't want to open it. Can't I just slide it back out? No, I can't keep doing this. I'll read this one. Um, it's shut kind of strongly, isn't it? Wait a second. Is that Metaton behind there? I don't know. It is office. Hey! If this is a joke, it's... Oh my goodness! Did you write this letter? It wasn't signed, so I had no idea who could have. Oh my goodness, oh no! That's adorable! And I had no idea you, um, wrote that way! It's surprising, too! After all the gross stuff I did, I don't really deserve to be forgiven. Much less, um, this? And so passionately, too. You know what? Okay, I'll do it! It's the least I can do to make up to you. Yeah, let's go on a date! Dating start! <laughs> ah, sorry! I'm still getting dressed! How do I look? My friend helped me pick out the dress. She's got a great sense of, um, anyways, let's do this thing! Dating start! Hey, wait! Actually, we still can't start the date yet! Dating stop? Um, I've got to give you items to raise your affection statistically first. That'll increase the chance of a successful outcome of the date, right? Anyways, don't worry, I'm prepared. I've been stockpiling gifts in anticipation for a date like this. First, I've got some metal armor polish. Um, maybe you can't use that. But, I've also brought some waterproof cream for your scales. Your, uh, scales. Um, well, how about this magical spear repair kit that I... Um, hey, let's forget about that items. Let's just start the date. Dating start! Yeah, let's, um, date? <laughs> I don't want to do this. Um, do you like anime? Yes. Hey, me too! Hey, let's go somewhere. But where's a good place to go on a date? I've got it! Let's go to the garbage dump! Here we are! This is where Undyne and I come all the time. We find all sorts of great stuff here. <laughs> She's really... um... Oh no! That's her over there! I can't let her see me on a date with you! Why? Because? Uh, well... Oh no! Here she comes! Hey, there you are. I, uh, realized if you deliver that thing, it might be a bad idea. So I'm gonna do it. Give it to me. Huh? You don't have it? <clears throat> have you at least seen her? 
yes. Yeah? So she's somewhere around here. Thanks. I'll keep looking. Oh my goodness. Well, I guess it's obvious, huh? I, um, I really like her. I mean, more than I like other people. I'm sorry, I just figured, you know, it'd be fun to go on, like, a cute kind of pretend date with you to make you feel better? Well, it sounds even worse when I put it like that. I'm sorry, I messed up again. Undyne's the person I really want to go on a date with, but, I mean, she's way out of my league. Not that you aren't, uh, cool, but Undyne, she's so confident and strong and funny, and I'm just a nobody, a fraud. I'm the royal scientist, but all I've ever done is hurt people. I've told so many lies. She thinks I'm, she thinks I'm a lot cooler than I actually am. If she gets close to me, she'll, She'll find out about the truth about me. Ooh, good sentence. What should I do? The truth. Tell her the truth, I assume. But if I tell her that, she'll hate me. Isn't it a better way to live a lie where both people are happy? Or a truth neither of us are? They say be yourself, but I don't really like who myself is. I'd rather just be what people like me. <laughs> no, you're right. Every day I'm scared. Scared what will happen if people learn the truth on their own. They'll all get hurt because of me. But how can I tell Undyne the truth? I don't have the confidence. I'm gonna mess it up. How can I practice? Let's roleplay it. Roleplay? That actually sounds kind of fun. Okay, which one of us will be Undyne? I'll be Undyne. Oh, right. Obviously. <laughs> Hi, Undyne. How are you doing today? I'm fine. <laughs> Glad to hear it. Uh, so I'd like to, um, talk to you about something. Well, then she, then she kisses you! Uh, you see, I, I, I haven't been exactly truthful with you. You see, I, I, oh, forget it. Undyne, I, I want to tell you how I feel. You're so brave and strong and nice. You always listen to me when I talk about nerdy stuff. You always do your best to make me feel special. I like telling me you'll beat up anyone that gets in the way. Undyne, I can't take this any longer. I'm madly in love with you. Hold me, Undyne, hold me. What did you just say? Uh, Undyne, I, I was, I just, hey, whoa, wait a second. Your outfit's really cute. What's the occasion? Wait a second, are you two on a date? Uh, yes, I mean, uh, no, I mean, we were, but, I mean, actually, we were only romantically role-playing as you. <laughs> what? I mean, I mean, Undyne, I, I've been lying to you. What? About what? About, well, everything? I told you that seaweed was like, I really just used to make ice cream. And those human history books I keep reading, those are just dorky comic books. And the history movies, those, those are just, uh, anime. They aren't real. And that time I told you I was busy with work on the phone, I, I was just eating frozen yogurt in my pajamas at an office. I, I just wanted to impress you. I just wanted you to think I was smart and cool, that I wasn't some nerdy loser, Alphys. Undyne, I, I really think you're neat, okay? Aw, Alphys. Shh. Shh. <laughs> Alphys, I, I think you're neat too, I guess. But you gotta realize, most of what you said doesn't really matter to me. I don't care if you're watching Kate cartoons or reading history books. To me, all that stuff is just nerdy crap. What I like about you is that you're passionate and analytical. It doesn't matter what it is, you care about it 100% at maximum power! So, you don't have to lie to me. I don't want you to have to lie to anyone anymore. Alphys, I want to help you become who you really are. And I know just the training that you need to do. Undying you, you're gonna train me? Pfft, what? Me? <laughs> nah. I'm gonna get Pappers to do it. Get those bones shaking! It's time to jog 100 left, hooting about how great we are. Ready? I'm about to start the timer. I'm dying! I'll do my best! Oh my goodness! She was kidding, right? Those cartoons, those comics, those are still real, right? Anime's real, right? Anime is not real. No, no, I can feel my heart breaking into pieces! No, I can survive this. I have to be strong for Alphys. 
Thank you, human, for telling me the truth. I'll try my best to live in this world. See you later. Okay. You guys just uh, freaking abandoned me here? Ring. Howdy! If it isn't my good friend, who trusts me? This is Papyrus. You're also mutual friend. Alphas and I finish our training early, very early. So I sent her home, very home. Uh, now I feel strongly, and for no reason, you should also go there. To her lab house. I have only good feelings about this. Goodbye. So now we go talk to Alphys. Oh, the door opened. Okay. That's where Metaton came from. I've never been able to- this is an elevator, that's not a bathroom at all. It looks like Metaton is undergoing repairs. I guess we're going into the bathroom. The lies. This was never a bathroom. The lies. Warning! Warning! Elevator losing power! M tether stability loss! Altitude dropping! Did I just die? EM, not M. Okay. Entry number one. This is it. Time to do what the king has asked me to do. I will create the power to free us all. I will unleash the power of the soul. Entry number two. The barrier is locked by soul power. Unfortunately, this power cannot be recreated artificially. Soul power can only be derived from what was once living. So, to create more, we have to use what we have now. The souls of monsters. Oh, no. Entry number three. But extracting a soul from a living monster would require incredible power. Besides being impractical, doing so would only instantly destroy the soul's host. And unlike the persistent souls of humans, the soul of most monsters disappear immediately upon death. If only I could make a monster souls last. Entry number five. I've done it. Using the blueprints, I've extracted it from the human souls. I believe this is what gives their souls the strength to persist after death. The will to keep living. The resolve to change fate. Let's call this power determination. True laboratory. There's a note on the ground. You can't make it all out. Elevator, lost power. Enter the center door. That's all you can read. Power room. I can't. Buy chips? Cool, I got some chips. Entry number six. Asgore asked everyone outside the city for monsters that had fallen down. Their bodies came in today. They're still comatose, and soon they'll all turn into dust. But what happens if I inject determination into them? If their soul persists after they perish, then freedom might be closer than we all thought. Entry number nine. Things aren't going well. None of the bodies have turned into dust, so I can't get the souls. I told the families that I would give them the dust back for the funerals. People are starting to ask me what's happening. What do I do? It's some kind of operating table. It's sticky. There's a note on the ground. You can't make it all out. Drain. Dropped it. That's all you could read. It's some kind of switch. There's a red colored slot in the center. You turn on the sink. You turn off the sink. You turn on the sink. You turn on the sink. Drew near. Yikes. But nobody came. But your inventory was full. I don't know how I feel about this.
You talk, you take out your cell phone. You can hear voices through the receiver. Come join the fun. Yikes. Ah. Poop. Memory head A. Join. Just a moment. That's a shame. What is, what is even going on? Seems like it doesn't care anymore. There's a red key lying in the sink. You took it and put it on your keychain. Click! The red fits perfectly. The red key fits perfectly in the slot. Uh, do I do something else to it now? The red switch has been turned on. Interesting. Interesting. Entry number 12. Nothing is happening. I don't know what to do. I'll just keep injecting everything with determination. I want this to work. Entry number 13. One of the bodies opened its eyes. Empty dog food. Seems like a, you could probably climb in if you were be on the left of it. Lie down. Yeah, let's lie down on it. What happens? Nothing. Okay. Nice. Entry number 14. Everyone that's fallen down has woken up. They're all walking around and talking like nothing's wrong. I thought they were goners? Dude. Golden flowers. Entry number seven. We'll need a vessel to wield the monster's souls when the time comes. After all, a monster cannot absorb the soul of other monsters, just as a human cannot absorb a human soul. So then, what about something that's neither human nor monsters? Metatom. Entry number 10. Experiments on vessels are a failure. It doesn't seem to be any different from the control cases. Whatever, they're a hassle to work with anyways. The seeds just stick to you and they won't let go. Flowey, I bet. Okay. Hum. You hum a familiar tune, but no one has heard you. Oof. Clean. You wash your hands, nothing happens. Oh no. Pray. You kneel and pray for safety. Remembers its conscience. Huh. Oh, I don't like that. <laughs> oh, I don't like that at all. Mystify. You did something mysterious. It has more to learn from this world. Oh dear. It has no head. What a pick on. You pick on the Reaper Bird. Reaper Bird seems to remember something. Someone finally gets it. Courage. It's just. What? Alright. Spare. You won. I don't, I don't know what's going on, and I don't think I like it. There's a note on the ground. I can't make it all out. Cold. That's all you could read. We need a key. Is that cold in here? Is it in the fridge? Ha! Huh. Entry number 15. Seems like this research was a dead end, but at least we got a happy ending out of it. I sent the souls back to Asgore and returned the vessel to his garden. And I called all of the families and told them everyone's alive. I'll send everyone back tomorrow. 
Entry number 16. No, 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 no. Oh, no. <laughs> that's, that's awful. There's a green key lying in the bathtub. You took it and put it on your keychain. Nice. Not nice. It smells like sweet lemons. Lemon bread. Oh. Unhug. You let lemon bread be. Lemon bread's teeth shake. Wow. Welcome to my special hell. All right. Shoot. That's really difficult. Holy crap. Cry? You cry as loud as you can, but nobody came. But nobody came. Oh my goodness. This is not easy. Flex? You flex your arm. Lemon bread's muscles shake. Freaking crap, dude. Hum? Lemon bread seems to remember something. I felt just before. It's because it's monsters. These are, you have to know which monster you're, you're fighting. Could just be goodbye. That sucked. Yellow key. We don't have the yellow key. Tape one. Psst. Gory, wake up. Hmm? What is it, dear? Uh, and why do you have that video camera? Shush! I want to get your reaction, Gory, dearest. What's my favorite vegetable? Hmm. Carrots, right? No, my favorite vegetables. Eat a edamame. Get it? Edamame. Go back to bed, dear. No, no, not yet. <laughs> now, if I were a dog, what breed of dog would I be? Hmm. I don't know, honey. What kind of dog would you be? I'd be a Mamaranian. Ho, ho, ho. You sure are excited to have this child. You know, if you keep making jokes like this, one day you could be a famous Mamedian. Well, I'm going to bed. Hey, come on, Tori. That one was funny. <laughs> I know. I'm just teasing you. Aw. Good night, dear. Good night, honey. Oh, dear. Perhaps it's too dark in here for the video to come out. It's Toriel and Asgore. Entry number four. I've been researching humans to see if I can find anything about their souls. I ended up snooping around the castle and found these weird tapes. I don't feel like Asgore's watched them. I don't think he should. Okay, good chaos. Are you ready? To your creepy face. Ah, hee hee hee! Oh, wait. I had the lens cap on. What? You're not gonna do it again. Come on, quit tricking me. <laughs> Choose a tape to watch. Howdy, good chaos. Smile for the camera. <laughs> Just time I got you, I left the cap on on purpose. Now you're smiling for no reason. <laughs> What? Oh yeah? I remember. When we tried to make butterscotch pie for dad, right? The recipe asked for cups of butter, but we accidentally put butter cups in instead. Yeah, those flowers got him really sick. I felt so bad. We made mom really upset. I should have laughed it off like you did. Um, anyways, where are you going with this? Huh? Turn off the camera? Okay. Choose a tape to watch. I... I don't like this idea, Good Chaos. What? No, I'm not. Big kids don't cry. Yeah, you're right. No, I'd never doubt you, Good Chaos. Never. Y yeah, we'll be strong. We'll be. We'll free everyone. I'll go get the flowers. Good Chaos, can you hear me? We want. You to wake up. Good chaos. You have to stay determined. You can't give up. You are the future of the humans and monsters. Psst, good chaos. Please, wake up. I don't like this plan anymore. I, I... No. I said, I said I'd never doubt you. Six, right? We just have to get six. 
and we'll do it together, right? I don't know. I do not know what's going on. DT extraction machine status inactive. Determination status. Ooh. Oh, I don't like DS. It's some sort of cold rectangular object. There's something here. It feels like it's breathing. Dude. Oh, hey, we found it. There's a note on the ground. You can't make it all that curtain. That's all you can read. Click. The green hole fits into the slot perfectly. Huh. Gosh, I don't like that machine. I don't know what's going on. I, I don't understand what's going on at all. Oh, entry number 11. Now that Metaton's made it big, he never talks to me anymore, except to ask when I'm going to finish his body. But I'm afraid if I finish his body, he won't need me anymore. Then we'll never be friends ever again. Not to mention, every time I try to work on it, I get really sweaty. That's weird. There's a switch on the wall. Press it. Yes. Okay. Whatever, let's do it. It's Almagaste. Beckon, you call Almagaste. It bounces towards you, flecking a strange liquid from an orifice. Yikes. Almagaste is hovering. Play. Almagaste is not excited enough to play with? Oh no, that's cheating, Amagaste. Beckon, Amagaste feelers rotate quickly. Nothing happens. Oh my goodness. Pet, you pet Amagaste. It convulses rapidly, then calms down. It rests quietly on your lap for a moment. Suddenly, it shoots away and crawls wildly on the walls. Dude. Please. Just play. You throw your weapon into the corner of the room. The Amagaste brings it back to you. Proudly, you repeat this process a few times. Now Amagaste is tired. It leans on you, drip its amorphous body dripping. You pet decisively. The Almagaste seems to be satisfied by all of this. N. Dogny is contented. Oh my goodness, we won. Now we go to that refrigerated room, I bet. Yeah! It's an empty refrigerator! It's refrigerator samples of some kind. Oh, hey, there are these things too. Entry number 19. The families keep calling me to ask when everyone is coming home. What am I supposed to say? I don't even answer the phone anymore. Entry number 20. Asgore left me five messages today. Four about everyone being angry. One about this cute teacup he found that looks like me. Thanks, Asgore. It's a refrigerator that's empty. Entry number 21. I spend all my time at the garbage dump now. It's my element. Samples. Samples. I don't, I don't want to do this again. <laughs> it's so cold. Snowy?
Heckle, you said something like, You look horrible. Why are you even alive? What? You didn't say that. Laugh. You laugh. You keep laughing. It's so funny. You can't stop. Tears run down your face. What? You didn't do that. You told a bad pun about snow. Her expression starts to shift. Ha! I, I remember. You told a bad pun about snow. Her expression changes more. Ha <laughs> ha! Thank. It's so cold. You told a bad pun about snow. She's completely calmed down. You won! You found a blue key on the ground. Nice! Now we can go turn the blue one on. And then we need the yellow key still. Under sh oh, one of the beds. Yellow key is in one of the beds. Right. Goodness, let's save it. I think we still have to fight someone in the bedsheet room then. Dang. That's okay, that's okay. Click, the key fits perfectly. Now, the yellow, and then we get to go into the lab, I guess? I guess? It's a bed. There's something under the sheets, check, yes. Nice, it's a yellow key, you put it on your keychain. That was easy. Thank goodness. <laughs> yellow key fits perfectly. Now we should be able to go open the center door. I'm a little bit surprised that all of this existed. All right, I'm gonna save it, cause screw dying or anything. I'm gonna buy some more chips. Also, those chips are really filling. So we're gonna buy all of them. Filling, that's not the right word. What is this? It seems like another elevator that has lost its power. Seems to be turned off. Okay. It seems like this controls the elevator's power. Turn it on. F and fight it. Yikes. <laughs> I'll just... Hey, stop! Hey, stop! I got you guys some food, okay? Sorry about that. They get kind of sassy when they don't get fed on time. I think they smelled the potato chips you had in. Anyways, the power went out and I've been trying to turn it back on, but it seems like you were one step ahead of me. This was probably just a big inconvenience for you. But I appreciate that you came here to back me up. As I said, I was afraid I might not come back, but that's not because of these guys or anything. I was just worried I would be too afraid to tell the truth that I might run away or do something cowardly. Um, I I suppose I owe you an explanation. As you probably know, Asgore asked me to study the nature of souls. During my research, I isolated a power I called determination. I injected it into dying monsters so their souls would last after death. But the experiment failed. You see, unlike humans, monsters' bodies don't have enough physical matter to take those concentrations of determination. Their bodies started to melt and lost what physicality they had. Pretty soon, all of the test subjects had melted together into those. Seeing them like this, I knew. I couldn't tell their families about it. I couldn't tell anyone about it. No matter how much everyone was asking me, and I was too afraid to do any more work knowing everything I'd done so far had been such a horrific failure. But now, now I've changed my mind about all this. I'm gonna tell everyone what I've done. It's gonna be hard. Being honest, believing in myself, I'm sure there'll be times where I'll struggle. I'm sure there'll be times where I screw up again. But knowing deep down that I have friends to fall back on, I know it'll be a lot easier to stand on my own. Thank you. Come on, guys. It's time for everyone to go home. Yikes. Entry number eight. I've chosen a candidate. 
I haven't told Asgore yet because I want to surprise everyone. In the center of his garden, there's something special. The first golden flower that grew before all the others. The flower from the outside world. It appeared just before the queen left. I wonder, what happens when something without a soul gains the will to live? The first flower is flowy. Entry number 18. The flower's gone. Flowey is the first flower. Ring. It's a voice you've never heard before. Good chaos. Are you there? It's been a long time, hasn't it? But you've done well. Thanks to you, everything has fallen into place. Good chaos. See you soon. I think that was flowy. Oh, man. Oh, dear. Telling me I can go fight Asgore now, I guess. Hopefully I don't have to fight Asgore, though. You know what I mean? Again. Well, everybody, this has been Undertale. We'll finish it next time, hopefully, I promise. Hopefully. If not, then I don't promise. If I... If we do, then I promised, and so I was right. If you do want to see us beat the game, then please consider hitting that subscribe button. If you enjoyed what you saw, hit that like button. If you have any comments or suggestions, feel free to leave them down below. And if you'd share this video, any and all of that would make my heart go... Alphys is a bit of a monster. And as always, have an amazing day here. And your blink. Bye! That's why she has you, because you have no sin!